Hey everybody, it's Big N here, and I wanted to show you guys my newest animated tombstone that I made. I finally dove into the world of Arduino and using that really cool four banger uh, program that was set up to work with the Arduino. Forgive me for not remembering who made it, but it's at fourbanger.com, I believe. Um, it's all the rage, all the cool kids are using it, and it works really well. Really makes using the Arduino super simple for using it for Halloween things like this. Uh, so what we have here is the tombstone I made. Uh, it has two animated rats up on top, as well as an animated cat there off to the left. Uh, the cat has two servos in his head, one for the jaw, one for the head, and each of the rats have an individual servo. One spins around and the other one goes up and down. And there's sound as well for the cat. I think it's on cooldown right now. Let me see if I can trigger it for you guys real quick. It's pretty cool. The sensor works from all the way back here. It's a pretty good sensor. So as you can see, the cat moves his head back and forth, opens his jaw, and then the two rats up there go back and forth. I'm still working out a few bugs on it. Uh, there's a few more things I need to tweak, like I need the sound file to last a little bit longer um, or cut the animation down a little bit. It goes on for about another five seconds after the sound stops, as you can see there. And then when it's done, it'll go into a cooldown. I think I have the cooldown set for 30 seconds, which I may actually make longer. But uh, that was it. So let me show you guys an up-close look at everything. Ugh. So as you can see, this is the cat I've had. I've had him for a few years now. Uh, I still need to run the wires a little bit better, hide them um, a little bit better there on the legs and everything. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how he came out. Um, I'm using paper clips as uh, extensions for the servo arm, so you can kind of see the paper clip coming through the top of his head there. Oops, set him off again, hold on. And then we've got the two rats up top here. And the way the rats work, each of them, one of them sits on a full-size servo. Uh, I've got this guy here pivoting up and down and again I'm just using a paper clip as the servo arm extension there and what I did was I loosened his hindquarters and put a bolt through so that it works as a hinge now so he can go up and down and then his bottom legs are actually bolted to a metal bracket that I have here on top of the tombstone. This guy sits on a little bracket I made which I still need to make a little better I'm really not happy with it. It might be okay at night because it's black you probably won't see it but this has a servo embedded inside the tombstone sticking up and it just spins him back and forth. The way I did all that was using, as I mentioned, the Arduino. And so the Arduino is powering a relay board as well as the MP3 module. And then I went a step further and I have the Polulu, I never say that right, micro servo, that you, uh, micro servo controller that you guys have seen me use in a few of my other things like the haunted dolls and things like that. So essentially, this is pretty simple. I'm just using the relay to, let me turn this off, hold on. <laughs> Wrong button, hold on. There we go. Um, so I'm using the relay to turn the power on and off for the servo controller. Whenever the servo controller gets power, it'll run through the animation that you program on it. So I thought that was a really simple way of setting that all up. I wish that I had used a smaller relay board, but this was only $5 from Amazon, so I went with it anyway. And so whenever the micro, micro servo controller, God, I can't talk today, comes on, it goes through the whole animation sequence that I programmed into it. And uh, that servo controller is actually pretty easy to use once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. And then it just finished its animation again. I stuck everything inside of a $1 pencil box from Target. Um, I got to work on that originally, or actually I should say ultimately. I'd like to mount this to the back of the tombstone somewhere about here. Clean up all the wiring a little bit. And as you can see, I've got numerous servo extensions going everywhere so that I can get power and everything to the servos. And the sound right now is coming from a tiny rechargeable uh, speaker that I got on clearance at Target for like four bucks or something. It actually works pretty well. But overall, that's it. I thought this was pretty cool. It was kind of... You know, Disney-esque, I guess you could say, with its silly animations and silly little creatures and everything. I'm pretty happy with it, and uh, hopefully people will really get a big kick out of it this year. 
So as always, thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions, just hit me up.